What's going on YouTube? This is Jose over Spidey Spider Tumblr's coming back at you with another mail call video. So today's mail call video, I'm going to have another Pacer Adventure Challenge. I'm going to have a box heroes to open up. And I'm going to have a short box purchase, which I'm not sure why they decided to shove it in that big old box there. But let's go ahead and start off with the Pacer Adventure Challenge medal. So I know a lot of you have seen me open these now, uh, quite a few of these now. So Pacer Adventure Challenge is just another way for you to do virtual adventures. So if you're doing a like a weight loss challenge, if you're doing exercising, if you want to keep track of your mileage, uh, your mileage or how far you've gone or a good way to motivate yourself is that they offer these little medals over at Pacer Adventure Challenge where you can kind of sign up. Now these you actually pay for, but the nice thing about them, they won't give you your certificate till you actually pass the course, but they will mail you the medals if you choose to send them to you before you finish the course. Although, you know, like I always say, you can't cheat anybody but yourself. So if you're not gonna finish the medal, I mean the challenge, you'll receive the medal because you paid for it, but you won't get your certificate. So I don't know, you know, a lot of people out there, if they want to push themselves, they can try for this. But this one is going to be, uh, it's going to be my Paris one. I was trying to read because sometimes I'll do it down there. And sometimes it's easy to read, sometimes it's not. So let's go ahead and open this one up. So the inside of the box, like always. And of course, Pacer Adventure Challenge. You can find them on Facebook or on Instagram at Pacer Adventure Challenges. And I've been really enjoying these here because it keeps me motivated to keep going, keep going. Um, I've been choosing a lot of the smaller, anywhere from like 13 miles all the way to, I think I did up to 40 miles. Um, but that's just my choice because it's a little bit tougher to do the longer miles. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can, I can do them, but I like seeing the turnaround. So I'm gonna try to do as many of these smaller ones that I can. Uh, this one here, I'm not sure why, but it's still a nice looking metal. It's got a rubber band because I'm, I'm I have a feeling this is gonna open, so let's go ahead and get that out of there. Get this out, and of course the lanyards are always nice looking as well. Eiffel Tower, and of course this side says your Pacer your uh, Paris Adventure Challenge. So let me remove the rubber band, and of course in the back they always show the trail. And keep in mind that there is set points on all this trail for you to actually do a 360 view of the area that you're in. So if you were running, you can actually virtually see it on online. So this one here was a 37 miles. Okay, so this is pretty neat. So it's like the old lockets that, you know, you used to see when you were kids with your grandparents or so forth. But when you open it up, it shows you a picture of the Eiffel Tower, real nice little metal. And of course, keep in mind, these are always metal. But like all my other challenges, Let's go ahead and uh, put this one on. And of course, I'm always too short. But look at that, it matches my Spider-Man shirt. So there we go. So like I said, I've really been enjoying these things because it helps me stay motivated and kind of push myself to get another medal. Uh, I believe now I'm in, like this one was a 37 mile. I'm starting to get the ones that are a little bit higher, your 30s, your 40s, uh, hopefully maybe into the 50s and 60s. I know there's some that are out there that are like 100. So those are going to take me a while to complete, but it's not to say that I'm not willing to do them. It's just I was enjoying getting these medals as quick as possible. So on to the next challenges that are out there. So let me just box this back up like I usually do so I can put it away uh, so much easier to take them out than it is to put them right back in but of course pace your adventure challenge that is another nice metal to add to the collection so let's move on to a let's tell you what let's go ahead and open up the short box since I know that's going to only be one book even though they sent it in this huge box and then we'll move on to the boxed heroes. I 
All right, so this one here, they sent it in a bunch of bubble wrap with, of course, everybody's favorite peanuts. That's okay. That one wasn't too bad. So the peanuts are on the bottom. Easily can be poured out. So let's see what we got. It wasn't too bad. The packing tape, well, not packing tape, but scotch tape didn't stick on there too bad. It just seemed like a lot of box for, uh, especially when the post office actually gives you the boxes that you can use for these. Kind of seems, maybe he had that laying around or maybe he packages for a living and there was a bunch of boxes he had there. But you know, it's, it's always nice to just use the postal boxes because of course they're free. Let's see what we got. Honestly, I don't even remember what I bought. Um, some more tape. All right, so I do kind of remember this one now. So we have a Vampirilla, volume five, number 21. This is gonna be the 616 Comics Edition. Real nice, red carpet looking one. Uh, Vampirilla, obviously I already said that right. Um, and a 9.8 CGC slab. It's like she's walking on the red carpet. Real nice looking 9.8 slab. 616. Let's see. I may just do that as my screenshot there. Or I may choose another one. I'm not sure. But boom. But again, Vampirilla. Real nice red carpet. And that was my short box purchase. It, had, it came in the wrap. I just didn't feel like unwrapping it. I would have probably had less glare, but I chose to just leave it that way. So let's go ahead and move on to our Box Heroes. Uh, Box Heroes has kind of stepped up their game a little bit. I mean, I don't know if anybody else sees it that way, but they're starting to do exclusives. So there was a Stray Dog exclusive on the other ones, so I'm not sure if... And I'm, I may be shooting myself in the foot here because I'm not sure. But I'm not... I'm not 100% sure if that's what they're going to keep on doing. If they're going to have uh, in, uh, exclusives in here. But it'd be real neat if they chose to do that every month. And you always have a different exclusive. But again, Box Heroes is my way to get a lot of the newer stuff. that I, Since I don't go to an LCS, that is my way of getting the newer stuff. I know I've said that before in the past. But typical postcard for Box Heroes. And then, of course, they offer you your little stickers. I know somebody out there will know who this is. I don't. Um, existence is pain. So, whoever that guy is. Uh, Darth Vader. A uh, uh, peace tie-dye shirt. I don't know why I was drawing a blank. But we have a Star Wars card. Joe Phillips. New Visions, number two. And then again, I'm going to take this out. And usually the subscriber bonus book is needing to be flipped. I will not look at it. It looks like they sent a poster in at this time. So let's see what this is. It looks like a poster. So, hmm, let's see what we got. Huge, huge poster on top of that. All right, so it's Ben Riley's. Spider-Man and funny enough that I'm wearing a Spider-Man t-shirt but here we go Ben Riley's Spider-Man poster that came in my box heroes I'm not sure if everybody's receiving these things but that's pretty neat to get uh, funny enough I'm gonna I'm wearing a Spider-Man shirt but I'm gonna stick it back in my box heroes box so that I know it's in there. So let me sit my booty back down and let's open up or let's go ahead and show off this box heroes. Uh, try to slide that in there, slide that in there. All right, I think I'm all cleared up. So first book, we have a Scotty Young variant. So here we go. That's the Scotty Young Spider-Man. Or actually, sorry. The Ben Riley Spider-Man. So there we go. 
Scotty Young. This one here does not have a note on it. I'm gonna try to turn it this way a little. Maybe I can get less glare and actually scooch my booty this way. See if I can kind of show the book on this side. So here we go, next book. Uh, I'm trying to see what it is, but I'm real bad at reading backwards. So we got Death Stroke Inc. Libra Revealed. So we have a number five, Death Stroke Inc. There we go. Actually, I'm kind of liking it like this better because I can actually show you the book on the side and no problem. So next book, we have Yvonne Pau Variant. So let's see what we got. Oh, that's a nice looking cover. So we have, I'm assuming, another Deathstroke Inc. This is number five, obviously the Variant Edition. So there we go. Real nice looking cover there. 21. Next book, we have Nightwing, number 88. Been hearing a lot of good things about Nightwing, have not picked up or even opened up an issue yet, but I am hearing a lot of good things about it. So there we have Nightwing. Next, we have a Greg Capullo and Jonathan Glapion variant. All right, so I'm gonna say, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm assuming it's Batman, I'm trying to read it, but. So we have Batman the Night number one. Nice little cover there. But there we go. All right, so we got a Frances uh, Francesco Mana X Gwen variant. Hmm. So there we go. The Amazing Spider Man X Gwen. That is a nice cover. So this is the Gwen variant. There you go. I almost dropped the book. Real nice cover there. Next we have, does not say on the back, but we have a little bit of X-Men number four. Looks like based on the hit anime series, X-Men Evolution number four. There we go. Which we all are assuming they will be showing themselves, or at least Xavier Presser X, We'll be showing themselves on the new Doctor Strange movie. I mean, on the new Doctor Strange movie. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing. And of course, this video may be dropping after the movie. So bear with me. This is a lot further in. I mean, in the beginning of the year than I am going to show towards the middle of the year. Wow. Oh, this time is flying. So here's the next book. Alpha Flight. Number, your guess is as good as mine. 62. There we go, a little bit of Alpha Flight. All right, so I'm assuming Box Heroes did not have more exclusives in this box, but here's another one. We got the Sensational Spider-Man, Spider-Man Unmasked. And this is number 31. So many covers I've never seen before. So many modern covers I've never seen before. That one is nice looking as well. So we have a Logan Libra variant subscriber book. And it says Logan variant. It had like a different sticker underneath. But let's go ahead and see what my Logan Lubera variant subscriber bonus book is. So here we go. We got Savage Spider-Man. That son of a gun. Look at that. Old looking... Um, I know they did something like this in the past where he actually turned into an actual spider. So there we go. Real nice cover. It's a variant edition. Number one, Savage Spider-Man. I really, really am liking that cover. A lot of glare in these dang Mylars today. So that is going to do it for this unboxing video. So really short and sweet. We had a short box purchase. A little recap of a Vampirilla. A Pacer Adventure Challenge. We had Paris was the theme today. Uh, I was going to show you a recap. There you go. Paris. And of course, what we just seen here was my Boxed Heroes. Real quick, just going to recap. Savage Spider-Man, Sensational Spider-Man, Alpha Flight. We got X-Men Evolution. We got some Spider-Man. Spy X-Gwyn, I believe. Yep, X-Gwyn. 
We got some Batman. We got some Nightwing. We got Deathstroke Inc. Some more Deathstroke Inc. And a Scotty Young Spider-Man. So all in all, not too bad. Really digged a lot of the covers there. Even some of the DC covers were nice looking. So really, really good. I picked up my subscription to Box Heroes. Again, I do it to get some of the modern books and a lot of these variants. It's cheaper than me going to the LCS and picking these things up at cover price. So that is my way of sticking with Box Heroes. At least my excuse, right? <laughs> so if you guys can all do me a favor, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about Box Heroes. Some of my short box purchases I've done now or in the past, maybe 616. Pacer Adventure Challenge. What do you guys believe or how do you guys feel about them? Um, but other than that, just, yeah, anything you guys want to do, leave it in the comment down below. If you guys can do me another favor, please hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already subscribed. Please hit that little notification bell so that you guys can get notified with all the upcoming videos that I have. And just like every other video, giveaways, giveaways, giveaways. On the description down below, you will see video links with a hashtag something or other i'm gonna say hashtag tumblers because that one's gonna just keep on going because that's gonna be a subscriber push so you'll see stuff like hashtag tumblers hashtag shadow bat hashtag hulk hashtag whatever it is i'm asking for for that video just enter that to the video in the comments and you will be entered for a chance to win one of those prizes so that is gonna do it all so uh thank you guys all for joining me like always everybody please stay safe stay healthy and i will see you guys on the next one